Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now February 20th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise and exactly where it's going by Disney and Lucasfilm, not just for their new Star Wars universe, but also for their new Star Wars trilogy of films that will be released throughout this entire decade. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this was the culmination of the Skywalker saga. J.J. Abrams wanted to introduce as much Jedi and Sith lore as possible. In fact, we do get a lot more of that in the Visual Dictionary, and we will be getting more of this in the art book of The Rise of Skywalker that will be released later this year. Now, we do know that J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, they went through a lot of changes for this film because of Kathleen Kennedy's input on the movie, and... Her having specific control over creative decisions of Episode 9. But when it comes to the new Star Wars trilogy, what's really great about these new Star Wars films that come in the near future is that Kathleen Kennedy will no longer have creative control over these new Star Wars films, which I honestly believe is a light at the end of the tunnel. It tells us, the fans, that we are going to be getting more authentic Star Wars movies that's going to be more in tune with the tones of the originals and the prequels and something new in the mix with that. And when you think about that, it makes us hopeful about the Star Wars franchise and exactly where it's going to go by Disney. And with that being said, what's really intriguing is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are moving on to their new Star Wars trilogy of films and more to evolve the Star Wars franchise. Now, it's noted that Disney has a plan to make Star Wars feel entirely different than the sequel trilogy as far as tone goes, and that they are looking to making the first film of the trilogy dubbed as Star Wars X. Now, the darkest Star Wars film so far is actually said to be for the first film of the new trilogy, where one of the big plans by Lucasfilm is to not only introduce new Legends of the Sith and brand new Dark Side Warriors, but that Disney is looking to bringing in a brand new Legion of Enemies from an entirely different galaxy that will visit the known Star Wars galaxy. It's unclear if this means that Disney will be making their own version of the Yuuzhan Vong or not, but that they are looking into one of the enemies in this new Star Wars film to arrive from a different galaxy. Additionally, it's noted that Lucasfilm wants to explore the story of the first Sith and how that will play a major role in the introduction of new locations in the Unknown Regions, and how it will also connect to the world of Exegol as seen in Episode 9. Star Wars X is said to also be a film that will dive into another Chosen One legend that was before Anakin Skywalker's time, where the core of this new story will be showing the peak of the Jedi Order and new secrets about the galaxy and how it was created by the Wills as well. The film is said to be very heavy on the Force and Star Wars Legends of the Jedi and the Sith and that will take fans into a new mythology, where also Kevin Feige is said to be in the talks with Anthony Hopkins, Gerard Butler, and even Clive Owen to become a part of the new Star Wars universe of films that will kickstart in the near future. So let's go over a couple of parts about this new Star Wars movie. Now obviously Star Wars X, we do know that Star Wars X is going to be a very important film by Disney and Lucasfilm because it's going to hold a different tone in comparison to the prequels, the originals, and the sequels combined. Basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to in trying to basically introduce A-list actors to the Star Wars franchise to really boost up the box office results of this new Star Wars movie. And I can see where they're coming from. You know, they're trying to get all these known actors and actresses that have a lot of experience. And not just that, they also want experienced directors and writers for the new Star Wars trilogy. Now, the thing that really stands out to me the most here is the fact that they will be introducing new enemies. These are going to be side enemies, if you will, not the main villains. But new enemies from a different galaxy that will be pretty much a part of the known galaxy of the Star Wars universe. The first thing that popped into my head was the Yuuzhan Vong from Star Wars Legends. Now, it's unclear if this is going to be, like I say, Disney's take on the Yuuzhan Vong or their own version of that, or maybe even just throwing them into the canon material in a different timeline. To me, I think that throwing in the Yuuzhan Vong would be a very interesting choice. Obviously, they're not the main villain of this new Star Wars universe. Basically, they're looking at Legends of the Sith and new Dark Side Warriors, etc. With these new creatures, these new enemies, whatever have you, on the side are going to be the side villains, the side enemies, if you will. So, the thing about Star Wars that I think is really magical, moving on from the Skywalker saga, is that 
they really have a lot to work with. The fact that they're using so much Legends material and the fact that they're in the talks with Keanu Reeves, Gerard Butler, Jennifer Connelly, uh, Anthony Hopkins, Clive Owen, and so much more to become a part of this new Star Wars universe. It really does tell us, the fans, that they're really trying to make things right and trying to make things a little bit more expansive for the Star Wars universe. They're trying to really evolve it into something new and different and modeling it after the MCU, which is a risk, I will admit, but at the same exact time, by having all these movies connect to each other, it could very well be a success depending on how the tones of these movies are, right? So anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.